Okay, so finally getting around, putting up my review for this AFE power, they call it cold air intake system. Uh, I installed it on a 2015 Jeep Grand Cherokee Altitude. It's got the 3.6 V6, pretty standard in these Grand Cherokees for the most part. Decent engine, uh, it's not going to set the world on fire, but it pulls a trailer and blah, blah, blah. Um, it's great for cruising, um, decent gas mileage for the power you get. Anyways, um, just wanted to put, I've got uh, almost two years and 28,000 miles on this system now, so I feel like I can put a, an objective review out. It's not like, oh, I just bought this thing and it's the greatest thing in the world, and then the people haven't even really used it. Um, you do supposedly have to put some time on these and they can claim let the computer learn it and blah, blah, blah. Who knows, really? But I do have enough time on um, to know what differences I've experienced and what I got out of it. Um, at the time I bought this system, I think it was about 500. I couldn't imagine what they cost now with uh, the price of everything since we had a coup selection instead of an election. Um, and now we have all these inflated crazy prices. Uh, the amount of money that we're spending on gas and everything, um, there's nowhere we should be paying anywhere near any of these prices. But it's what happens when you have a coup selection. Uh, only thing I can say on that is people go watch a movie called Selection Code on Rumble. Go find Dinesh D'Souza's 2000 Mules. If you think there was a legitimate election, um, all I can say is you're an idiot. So anyways, uh, yeah, I've driven this thing. Uh, halfway across America quite a few times. I don't say across the country because we have open borders, so that's not a country. Um, but I've got a lot of time on this. So basically, for the money, what you're basically paying for is to clean up your engine compartment is basically what you spend uh, five or however much it is, $100 now. I'm going to pull this cowling off. I just kind of see the rest, all the parts. So basically what you get is you get a replacement air filter uh, compartment and you pull out the stock one. Obviously, you put this new mount, this new compartment in. I actually uh, I just made this other clip and installed on the lip here so that this thing doesn't rattle or move around at all. It's super solid, not mandatory to do that, but I chose to do that. Um, and then you just got your tubing pieces that come with it. Decent clamps, some hose sections, another hose section to go to your throttle body. And then it does come with a nice grommeted hole inlet for your existing sensor. And uh, so, yeah, the actual product, the, the quality of the pieces is nice. Um, so as far as like you're cleaning up your engine compartment and you're basically getting an air filter that you can service yourself. You got an air compressor. This is a dry air filter system. Unlike like k and I think they still do where you, they want you to oil their air filters like you would on a dirt bike or something. But this is a dry system. You just take, you can pull the filter out of this housing. Um, it does sit in there really nice and it stays fairly clean if you're just doing street driving. Um, so to pull it out, you just loosen one of these clamps. You pull this out and the uh, conical air filter comes out and you can uh, blow it from the inside out with an air compressor. Um, this actually stays pretty clean in here again with just street driving and then it's going to be the conditions you're in. Obviously if you drive dirt roads or something, it's going to be different. Um, also what I do like is after having this for this amount of time, when I pull the air filter off, you check the inside of the tube and it is clean so I'll take like a blue shop towel, paper towel, and wipe the inside. And you see that stuff is not getting past the air filter. So the air filter is a good filter, uh, keeping the air, the intake system clean. And uh, just real quick, just for reference, uh, I used to be an ASC master certified technician. Um, so, like, I do know about engines and cars and what engines need and how they run and what's good for them and what's not. Um, so, anyways, before I put the system in, I'd say the car, most of the time I was getting, again, long trips, 21 to 22 miles a gallon. Um, 
these days I can see 23 to 25 a lot of the times. Again, you know, some of that's dependent, headwinds, tailwinds, etc., climbing grades, mountains, whatever. But I'd say at best, maybe one to three miles a gallon better in certain situations with this system. And there is zero performance gain that's noticeable. I'm telling you right now, there's no horsepower gains that you're going to feel and no performance gains. These companies, the claims they make on these systems, I don't know how they get away with it. I have a K&N cold air intake on my old XJ Cherokee, and they you just don't notice any, is you're not going to get horsepower from one of these things. It's just not going to happen. So I don't know these, a lot of people, other people, they put these on different vehicles, put the reviews and that's great. Some people claim this and that, you know, whatever, but I'm telling you after two years and 28,000 miles, um, there, you're not going to get any, you're not going to be like, Oh, this is way more performance or something. So you're going to spend five to maybe 600 nowadays, and you're basically spending it to clean your engine compartment up and be able to service your own air filter. And this is still the stock air filter that came. It's in great shape. And again, I just take it out, blow it out my air compressor from the inside out and wipe. So you can get in through here. It's a big opening and wipe the inside of the compartment out if you want to. But it's a nice, nice design. The parts have held up well. All the rubber is still good clamps are good um, again it's only two years old but uh, that's pretty much the deal with this system uh, anybody has any questions or comments you know I don't spend my life on YouTube but um, if anybody has any questions I'll try to keep an eye and answer anything that I think I can and again it's just to save people possible money or you just know like okay this is what you're getting so hope that helps uh, people and uh, let's go Brandon.